everybody, welcome to my usual me and welcome back to the third stream of the day. I don't know what I was thinking, but hey, we're here, we're live, and I hope y'all are having a great day. And here we go, guys. We're going to play Pop-Up Dungeon. Pop-Up Dun Dungeon just came out uh, on both Steam and Humble Games. You can go to humblegames.com slash pop-up dungeon. I have no skin in the game, so I'm not affiliated or anything like that. Uh, we're just going to play it. Um, uh, I, I talked with one of the devs uh, the other day, yesterday as a matter of fact, and I introduced myself in their Discord and do, and guy was like, I know you, we've talked about another game in a different time, and I was like, I hope it was a positive experience for you because I tell you how it is, or I tell you my opinion on games, no matter what, if I don't like them, I don't like them. You guys know how it is. If you guys are regulars in this channel, I see Rabbit, D Rabbits is in here. Kaiman 2014, how you guys doing? Good to see you. You guys are the first two to pop up and say hello. Hello. All right. So anyway, guys, this is a roguelike um, RPG, turn-based, like Dungeons and & Dragons. And I can say it, although they I don't know that they can say it. But uh, it's based off of Dungeons & Dragons, I think. In you, But you can create any character, any weapon, any ability, any spell. You can make your own dungeons. This thing is, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dungeon crawler, but it's got open areas too. I, well, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. It's got two of my favorite people um, that I can think of. Um, I didn't know the other one was in here, but they've voiced over a bunch of characters. Um, Matthew Mercer from Critical Role has voiced uh, four characters. Let me go ahead and pull it up right quick. I have it written down right here. Uh, he uh, voices Magnor, which is uh, the guy in the picture right here. He voices House, Enoch, and Marcus. Um, I would like to, I don't know if they're all good, if they're all characters you can play. If they are, I'm gonna put them in a party. We're gonna have a Mercer party, um, if that's possible. I don't know if it is or not. I'm a big Critical Role fan, if you guys didn't know. Um, huge fan. So, uh, so you know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a, a nerd when it comes to D&D as well. I've been playing, I played D&D when I was really young. Haven't played it in my later years, but I would love to get back into it, which is why we're playing Pop-Up Dungeon. They also have, oh, what's his name? Hang on a second, bear with me. I gotta look this up. Um, it's last, it's Delance. Uh, it is, hang on, I'm looking. Bear with me. Where is it? Oh, his name is John Delance. He plays the wizard. If you don't know who John Delance is, uh, I think I pronounced his name right. Um, it's spelled John Delancey, but it's John Delance. This guy is the um, he was the he was the guy who played Q in Star Trek: The Next Generation. If you guys know who that is, that this is the guy who vo voices the wizard in this game. Uh, so they got him on board too. There's a lot of really good voice actors. I don't know any of the other ones that they that they showed in their in their Discord, but I'm super excited to to uh, to play these characters. So. We're gonna pop right in here. We're gonna go ahead, there's a tutorial here, and I got a few minutes into it in between the break and realized that I didn't have time to finish it. So I don't know if they're gonna make me go through it again, but we're gonna see. We're gonna go create, boom. Okay, no, we're not gonna create. I'm not gonna create anything. You can create all kinds of stuff, but let's just uh, go exit. No, I don't, cancel. Click on the box, man. Okay, so, uh, this is Magnor. One moment I was raging. Next time in this box. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start a camp. This is a tutorial. They're gonna make me go through a tutorial real quick, so you guys can come along. Here we go. Hey, Vicky. Hi, Melora. Landon, how you doing? Okay, so this is a bat. This is a very helpful bat. The question is, who is he helping? Greetings, player. I am the Ding Bat, servant of the wizard, and your humble guide. Dingbat? That sounds like a made up name. Nope, it's naturally occurring name. Now listen up. You only gotta learn this stuff once, but I gotta teach it to everyone. So let's keep things curt, shall we? You guys are gonna help me pick up my characters too, by the way. Uh, so we're gonna go lesson one. Knights of Pen and Paper 2? Oh, okay. How do I whack a goblin? So it's hopefully this tutorial didn't take too long. Here, Look at this. Here we go. Click around to explore when not in combat. Look for me at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen if you need guidance. It's the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom. All right. So uh, you hold down the right mouse button to uh, to rotate the the map. Um, 
you can and then you can use your uh, your W and S keys to go back and forth. A, A and D keys to go back right and left. Uh, your scroll wheel to go up and or, or you know go uh, in and out. So here's Magnar right here, and the walls will uh, lower themselves. You can adjust all this speed of the walls going up and down as you like, so you can actually see everything. So is he just doing push-ups? Was he just doing push-ups? All right, we're gonna pull him over here. Where's the door? Here's the door. Go through the door. This is what they mean by pop-up. It's so cool. Uh oh, there's the goblin. During deployment, you can click on a character to change your starting position. All right, so I'm gonna click on my character. Real quick, the goblin is, is right here, and, and they only have he only has paper on one, one or one one side of his. It's only has color on one side of his face. Click on a highlighted tile to choose the starting uh, location. Okay. Right. So, uh, I guess right there. And you can click on the arrow tile to set your orientation. So I love to raid. All right. When you're clicking, when you're ready, click on the start uh, battle tab in the lower left. Round one. All right. Before you chop this goblin into nuggets, there's a couple of bubbles I'd like to introduce. Blue bubble is your action points. That's uh, how many things you can do it uh, during a turn. Green bubble is your maximum movement, and the uh, the bar is your health. All right. Goblin's turn first. He got one, one initiative. Not so fast. Oh. Okay, so I got an attack of opportunity, it looks like. Reactive ability. They go off when the conditions are met. Look at the tab above the card to see what conditions must be met. A red tab means it cannot be triggered on your turn. A blue tab means it can be triggered any at any time. Okay. All right, so he just got... Ooh, Trust the axe. All right, then. I'll highlight, highlight your ability cards according to how useful they are in any given situation. Red is bad, green is good, blue is best, and if a card is gray, it can't be used at the moment. Double click on a card automatically to activate an ability. Here's my ability, here are my cards. I can do chop, which is blue, it's outlined in blue, uh, taunting shout, which will taunt for um, 1.79 uh, turn, okay? And then I could hamstring, but I can't do that for some reason. Oh, because I'm not behind him, that's why. Okay, I see. Hey, what's up, Paradox? How you doing? All right, so we're going to go chop. And... Oh, I got to double click it. <laughs> Boom! Ooh, he's still alive. I guess we're going to do taunting shout. I'm going to taunt him. I've got crumbs of bread harder than you in my beard. <laughs> All right, so now it looks like the goblin uh, has been uh, has been um, maybe stunned because of my ta it's my taunting strike. Sounds like it's like um, uh, hellish rebuke, maybe or no, not hellish rebuke. Um, oh, what's it called? Oh, he's taunted for eight more turns. Oh wait, here comes the male. You taunt him so you so he actually comes to you. That's what that is. All right, so we're gonna do chop again, and I should kill him. Boom. There it is. It's his reaction ability. Oh, okay. You can't use it because it has a cooldown. The goblin has to move into Magnor's range to activate it. Got it. That's why we attacked him when he first showed up, right? All right. Equipment works the same way. Double click on automatic to automatically equip or drag and release to custom equip. We got a Scallywag's curve, which is a plus two sword, twenty three power, negative twenty percent aim. I wonder if I want to use that versus the axe. Probably not. We we'll probably want to keep with our axe for a minute, at least until we get into the main campaign. Actually, it's a four. The dull axe is a two. Maybe I do want this. Maybe we'll drag it over here. Um, the dull axe is, plus, is 20 physical power. Oh, it's physical. Okay, and then uh, it's the same, but okay. So it's three more power with the, with the Scallywag's curve. Should change the weapon, right? All right, it's repla replaced automatically, unequipped, so you can be, so it can be sold. Oh, the equipment you replaced is automatically unequipped, so it can be sold or handed down. Oh, bless okay. my beard! So I can sell it for how much? Hang on. Doesn't this say. is a good haul. Doesn't say. We're gonna sell it. Eight gold. Yeah, okay, we'll sell it. Sure. So it still shows my axe, though. 
Okay, well, anyway, when all enemies are defeated, click on the exit level button to progress. When's the feast? <laughs> so, oh, okay, the sword did show up, show up. Good. All right, at the end of your level, you'll gain new statistics and abilities. Ah, loot. So, Club Cracker. They tell me paper is worth a lot in the future. <laughs> Fancy that. Okay, I guess we'll do it. Thing is, it's not a club. That, I mean, that sword's not a club. That's why I was I was hesitant. Party time! Now let's turn this party into a party. Get ready to choose a study buddy. All right, so we got now. This is where I want you guys to help me. Okay, for those of you who are here, we're gonna make this interactive. Um, so uh, we have a choice. We can either have Anola the Huntress, or we can have Orin the Wizard. What do you guys think? Do we want a magic user, or do we want an archer? I assume that the Huntress is an archer. Um, so let's click on the, the Huntress right quick. It's not a hunting party without a hunter. All right. Enola lost an eye to the infamous guild of assassins known as the Owls, but she's willing to pledge her remaining peeper to your cause. While her use of binoculars has been halved, <laughs> her aim is as deadly as ever. So, let me close that out. And then Orin the Wizard... Stone standing in a field is worth a hundred lying on a mountain. <laughs> so Orin has taken exception with the fact that someone out there has placed definite articles before the title Wizard. Uh, his long-range destructive magics are here to prove that he is, in fact, the Wizard. Alright, I've got two for Enola. Anybody else? Really? Everybody's all, we want to know. Okay. Last chance to pick R and the wizard. Anybody? Anybody? Nobody's speaking up. All right, we'll take it. It's not Anola. a hunting party. All right, Anola it is. And lesson two. All right, dungeon classroom, novice one. Okay, mo friends, mo problems. Mo friends, no problems. First we fight, then we feast. I'm in a freaking jail? Oh, I see it. It'll open up. Alright. So. Another goblin. And a kobold. Alright. Deployment phase. When deploying your party, uh, check the turn order on the right-hand side of the screen. Okay. So we've got... Uh, first obstacle is to overcome is always yourself. So we have... Uh, okay. Magnar goes first. Then the goblin. Then Enola. And then the, uh, the kobold. Right? Okay, so, so and you know, the red is where they, they can move to. So, it looks like the goblin's going to be able to get up on Anola first. Magnor, oh, okay, hang on, I can, I can move. Oh, we start battle. Here we go. Okay. Here comes the maelstrom. Drag up and release a card to custom and activate an ability. Okay. So I've got Chop, Club Cracker, Taunting Shot. We can taunt an enemy, either one of them, because my range is, oh no, I, I won't quite let me, will I? I'm not quite, I'm not quite cl close enough. Um, it auto correct it to Ebola, really, instead of Enola? It's funny. Um, all right, well actually Enola, how far can she reach? Well, it won't let me, it won't show me. All right, so I'm going to go... I guess we'll just move. I, can always, I can't go to the right here, I guess. Just forward. Well, I guess we'll just get smack dab in between the two, huh? Or maybe I'll, maybe I'll go... Yeah, we'll go right here. No, we'll go right here. Oh, wait a hang on. Wait, no, no, no. Or unlight it. Oh, hang on. I want to unlight. I right click that. Hang on. I don't want to do that. I want to. I only have. How many. I only have like five. Five movement points, right? To three, four. Uh, that's as far as I can go right there. Pin up your pigs. Here I come. All right. That's all I can do is get up that far. I probably should have gotten that close. Goblin. There, I'm going to get double hit. Ow. What is the prey? Alright, we gotta take 
So one shot, one kill charge abilities. Like Anola's one shot, one kill can take a turn or more to activate. Okay. Don't tell the wizard I told you, but it's good to use them at the end of your turn. Okay. Snaro. Twang. One shot, one kill. So, if I go Snaro, can I? I can't. I can't. I can't hit this guy, can I? I can't. We're gonna go this way. Oh, that's not gonna work either. Hang on. Quick to cancel movement. I don't need to get close. One shot, one kill. I'll go after the cobalt, I guess. Or can I not? Oh, there we go. Okay. She's charging it now. Okay. Cobalt's turn. Oh, he's an archer. I didn't even see that. Oh! Went after Enola. What the heck, man? All right, Magnar. I'll turn. be honest. I'm a wee bit lost. So we're gonna go with. It's 203. All right, so Club Cracker. <laughs> on the. On, oh, I guess I went against this guy because I was facing that way. Is he done? He's done. I got a Gek bow. Plus five bow. We know where that's going. And we're going to go... Chop. There we go. And... I guess I can move back. Right-click to inspect entity. Okay, so this gives me all the stuff that... It, that, that uh, the, the creature can do. He's got 7 AP per round. All right, so let's back. Uh, maybe I can back off here, right? I've got only got one move. If I can catch you, I don't know you're mine. Matter, but we'll move back. That's fine. A little like chess. Oh no, she went down. No. You're a butthole, dude. I love to raid. All right. Would you chop? <laughs> I avenge you, Enola. Spike another club. village, another pillage. <laughs> All right. So, for, let's see. What do we got here? That's a seven. The spike club, forty-five percent ar armor penetration and stunning. 13% stun uh, one or uh, per damage per one turn. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll trade that out. We'll give him that. Wait, what was this that? This is a good haul. No, that's right. That's fine. That will make a the, fine trophy. Yeah, I think the Gek bow. She wants that better. It's 198 aim. Oh, it's a much better bow. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so we can go ahead and sell these guys. 23. There! It's mine! I licked it! it it's mine, I licked it, Matt. That's funny. Don't move Archer and, and use Taunt? Oh. No, yeah, so they use up their movement, huh? Be sure to stop and smell the paper every now and, every now and again. You'll find useful posters and handouts scattered about the classroom. Would you like me to go over some of them with you? Sure. Why not? Please do. Here's some of the hottest tips. A green seal for range means the ability ignores line of sight. And if the range number is underlined, it means the ability can only be used in a straight line. Um, icons next to effects on a card indicate its power type. Icon shape matters too. Circular is magical. Square is mundane. Both power types, and they've got a corresponding defense. So if you get scissors, you better throw some rocks. Got it. Yeah, okay. On the other side of an effect, you might see an icon like this one, which means that the effect will target the caster. Other icons look for a trap, field, and origin. Traps and fields leave a chip on the board. 
difference is the trap is removed when it triggers a field sticks around for the duration and an origin icon means that the effect will only target the actual tile the ability was activated on okay look around the craft room to learn different uh, power types or tidbits okay um, oh I see just telling you how to do it Alright, so I think that's pretty much it. I think they, they they basically told me everything that there was there. Magical air, magical piercing, magical earth. Mundane, mundane, mundane. Fast forward to slow motion time warp. Alright, okay. I think we're good. I, th I think we're good. Ah, come on! She One more back. round! card feels a bit like Hearthstone, kind of, yeah. They added a bunch, this game's been seven years in the making, so I'm sure they took them a lot of different games. Hey, tell me paper is worth a lot in the future. <laughs> Fancy okay, that. Okay, so, focus. Increases effectiveness of your area of effect abilities. Values greater than 100% have no effect. However, they help can help undercome, uh, overcome a target's reflexes. So I'm thinking maybe we'll give it to her. Although it's showing for him. He didn't have an AoE. He's a he's a barbarian, right? We'll give it to her. For her one shot, one shot right? All right, three's a crowd. Got a third person here. Dare we add a net, uh, 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 dare we add yet another member to this party? All right, now we got another choice, guys. So we've got the Sarge or convince the enchantress well we're going to go a fantasy setting so i'm actually going to pick uh, the enchantress over the sarge just because they have two different types they have a fantasy setting and they have a science fiction setting so i think we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the uh, enchantress i think she's going to we need a healer charmed i'm sure i'm assuming that she's a healer a lady requires a bit of convincing first we fight then we feast all right, let's roll this dice. Twenty. Give me that. All right, so we got her. Oh, we had to convince the enchantress. All right, so my wish is your command. Her name's Layla. Layla, in the end, you're uh, not sure who convinced who, but Layla is coming with you. She brought coffee for everyone. Thank God. All right, so actually, you know what? Hang on. My wish is your command. I... <gasps> what is she? She's an enchantress. Magical energy, short range, control. So she's a magic user. Okay, I see. All right. Dungeon classroom, a boss cat. All right. I'll be no, honest. I'm, I'm a talking wee about bit lost. I'm talk, Maverick. I'm talking about the uh, the the two the two major uh, main campaigns. Or you start arguing with me. You can make anything. You can make anything. So. <laughs> Goblin, cat, knight. All right. What do we got going on here? What's this sword? And a cobalt. All right, so we've got a goblin, a cat knight, and what's this? Adept draconic marksman. His weakness is, is, is abysmal against taunt. A cobalt, if I can get the, onto the cobalt. Uh, awful stability, bad against piercing. Horror against bodies, deficient back defense, and deficient defense. Uh, we'll get a thief, Laura. Cat Knight. Abysmal against mind. There's your rogue right there. Adept Beastman Rogue. All right. Let's go ahead and see. So we got my guys, all three of my guys go first. So that's cool. So we got the Enchantress first. 
Good start to battle. Not the dread cat knight. Skitty kitty is a cat like reflexes and will jump away when you try to attack it. Oh. Really? You can tell an enemy has a reaction like Magnar's hamstring ability when you see a red flag beneath their health bar. Oh. Okay. I'll let you figure out how to handle this elusive, uh, elusive hand panther. I'm not bound to any lamp. You're not bound to any lamp. All right, what do we got? Spirit of coffee. You get haste for one turn. It gives you plus four AP. Or we have a course of one turn. Well, we're going to do that first, aren't we? Smart dispel. Um, if it's an enemy, you dispel a 390 buff uh, potency. If it's friendly, you purge a 390 buff potency. Charm. Uh, if not behind, we can charm somebody for one one turn. It's one to three. Uh, so let's go ahead and do Spirit of Coffee. So we can get her up there. Like rain in the desert. And then we're going to move her here. That's five. Or maybe we'll move her here. That's four. Gracefully. And... Oh, I can't do it. Wait, I, oh, charm takes four. That's why. Okay, we got... Never mind. She's done. She's done. Here comes the maelstrom. All right. Magnar... Let's use, uh, we're going to taunt. Oh, can I not? Oh, it's more fun when they run. Here, chicky chicky. <laughs> and how many more points do I have? Four? Okay, so we can go ahead. Oh, I can't quite get to him, can I? Well, let's do... Would you cr club cracker? Eh, this beats ruin. Ha! Boom. And I guess that's all I can do. Only have one left. We'll move back. They gotta come through. Oh, it's more fun when they run. I know I might not be able to hit. We'll see. All right, that's it. My oh, hand good. is steady. All right, Enola. Aim shot. Ooh, can I can I hit him? Let the arrow do the walking. Yeah. <laughs> Charging aim shot. That's it. Right. Let's see how many people we get, get, get killed here. Club cracker. Ninety two is not bad. Cat knight's gonna come in and kick my ass. So watch this. Deep cut. That was a deep cut. Tis but a wee wound. Mmm. Dude. I only grant my own wishes. I gotta get rid of that cobalt. He's gonna do an aim shot. Uh, we're gonna charm. If I can charm the cat knight, I don't think I can, can I? I can charm the goblin, but that's not gonna do me any good. If I, wait. I do spirit of coffee. <laughs> Like rain in the desert. Oh, I gave Enola 10. Oh, I see what happened. Okay. So we're going to charm. We're going to charm the goblin. We should be friends. We should be friends. And then... Smart dispel. I don't think I have to dispel anything. There's nothing going on. So we're done. You know what? I can move her back. She got four spaces. We'll move her back. Eyes up here. Oh wait, she had, she's got a, she had a sword and a shield. I could have had her attack. That's fine. We're done. Oh, I'm feeling a little Thor. <laughs> oh. All right, let's go ahead and go with uh, Club Cracker <laughs> on, the, on the Cat Knight. He jumped back. Um, then we're gonna go with. Uh, Chop. Actually, no, we'll, we'll move up one. Hey ho! And then we'll hit chop on this guy. 
Can I not? Ah! There you go. We got it. He's done. Done. All right. And I think that's it. That's all I can do. All right. The arrow is knocked. Well, if she could have finished off the archer, but she didn't have any, uh... Oh, the hunters could have. Oh, yeah. All right, Enola. What do you got going on here? Get rid of the goblin. Didn't we already have aim shot? Let's go twang, I guess. What's this? Snarrow. Negative 100 and 3% mobility. Let's do twang first. She's got a ton tracks. of AP right now. We're going to hit this cat more than once. We're going to take this cat out right now. There it goes. See you later, alligator. All right, and then... Uh, one shot, one kill. That's all I can do. He's charmed and taunted. But he ain't doing nothing. He attacked somebody else. He was on our side. He attacked just some random pillar. Which is cool. Charmed, I'm sure. Oh, he's no longer charmed. Um... I don't think I have to worry about this. I can't. Okay, so we're gonna have to move. We'll move there, and I still be able to charm Eyes this guy up again. Here. Yeah, I can charm him again. Did you Sweet. do me a favor? Nice. He's here done. comes the maelstrom. All right, Magnar. Just club cracker him. Oh, it's more fun when they run. <gasps> That's it. One shot, one kill. Here we go. Yeah. Cool, man. I've worked with better, but not many. Thank you. <laughs> Hand oh, panther braces. 13% evasion, plus 79 health, but negative 20, 225 fear defense. Um. All right. So. Magnar's got fur lined boots. Archer's arm guards. Mm, okay, it's going to mess with his mobility. What about her? It's going to mess with her critical chance. And these are. It's going to drop. The, uh, okay, well, did you get that life siphon, huh? Plus 10%. Maybe we'll sell these. Can I, I don't want I can't hang on to them. Can I just hang on to them? Or do I have to sell it? I think I'm gonna give him. I'm gonna give him to uh, Magnar. We're gonna get rid of the fur line boots. I hate to do that, but I think we're gonna because it's he's gonna be able to evade and he gets more health. It'll be worth it. It'll be worth it. Sell that for three gold. Okay. And we're done. Another village. Another pillage. Magical power. I've had better. Plus twelve. Well, we're gonna give it to her. Yeah. 100%, the Enchantress. Alright. Made the grade. Congratulations, graduate. You're well on your way to becoming the master of board. Um, <laughs> you may prove yourself a worthy adversary for the wizard. Alright, what do we got going on here? A letter to gamers. A uh, letter of dubious origins crosses your desk. It is addressed from someone referring to themselves as the wizard. You take your uh, D20 pommeled brass letter opener and dispatch the seal on the back of the envelope, recycling bin at the ready. 
just as you unfold the letter, it begins to read itself aloud. This is Q from um, um, John DeLance. To those called gamers. Oh, I thought you were going to continue. Life drowns you in challenges, and yet you seek out more in games. Some would think you're seeking refuge from the world's problems, but escapism is most dangerous when you actually need to escape, isn't it? You and I both know that's not what this is. You seek these challenges because you're bored with reality, and I'm here to remedy that in one way or the other. Who or what I am is not important. What I do is important. Mankind is an ungraded test, and I'm holding the red pen. And I will grade you on your greatest strengths, creativity and determination. You will learn that the difference between fact and fiction is the power to decide which is which. This power I grant to you, so bring your mightiest heroes, most powerful legends, saltiest streamers, and dankest memes. Uh. I await you atop my tower. Okay. Worry not. I threaten no violence. You may lose as often as you'll tolerate. However, when I win, and I will win, your creativity shall be my trophy. Without it, humanity is surely doomed to a dim end. But no pressure. After all, it's just a game. You know, I'm feeling a lot of similarities between his, his character on Star Trek and this character right now. A lot of similarities. Just saying. All right, so we've got, oh, what's this? Huh. We gave them the shaft. Okay, so Magnor's got 3,000 health, really? Okay. Uh, what do we got here? What's this? Let's see. Victory. Here we go. Tutorial. All right. Got 623 gold. Um. Okay. Main. What's this? Oh. All right. So now that we have charms here in this game, guys, we can get extra things. Now, this token, I'm going to throw it in this bubblegum machine. They call it something else, but it's a bubblegum machine. I got a plastic charm of speed, which increases the speed of all party members by 0.5. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll add that to the thing. If I can. There we go. Um, okay. Can I not close the drawer? All right, I guess I go back to me. There it is. All right, so you have uh, different buffs for the party. Now I have 639 gold. Can I can I do something with that? Oh, I need a thousand gold for one plastic token so I could get another charm, which is random. Hey, how's it going, BLG? What's up, man? Hey, Craig. How you doing, man? All right, so go to the main, I guess, because I don't have enough coins. All right, here we go. Finally, uh, uh, the main event, guys. Now it unlocked all. Okay, I can. Oh, I can. I, I, can, I locked. I thought I got five in my party. Man. Do you have any tuna? What? Uh, no reason. <laughs> okay, that's one of Matthew Mercer's characters as Marcus. I don't know why. I get, so he's a, he's an engineer. Control, support, summon, and melee. Who else did uh, uh, Matt do? Hang on. Uh, Inuk and House. The rising sun always covered their bets. The gambler, huh? That sounds a lot like, um, shoot, one of the X-Men. What's his name? Throws the cards. This is a high stakes game. Higher than you know. All right, anyway. Need any rites performed? Yuki the Summoner, she's a, a magical, let's see, short range magical spirit. If only you knew my power. I know that voice. The box cat. Max the good boy. 
tank control heal. Mundane slashing short Take range. Take a screenshot. It'll last longer. I'm never squirmish about a skirmish. I am here of my own will. Gambit, really thank no you, Rabbit. There's no point to my pointy ears. They certainly don't keep the dwarves away. All right, so Claire's a an elven cleric. I am sworn to valor. In a pal a paladin. You don't have to love me. You just have to serve me. Roll up your tat sleeves, boys. A non the internet troll, really? Demons, mutants, furries, makes no difference to me. Really, Messian? Okay. And this is the, the, the second group of, of characters here. Don't pray for an easy run. Bring the strength to endure a difficult one. Can't wait to launch my career. TJ's official DJ! Oh no. I will raise the spirits of this party. Mmm, a necromancer. You wanna know how I lost this eye? There's your rogue. It'd be a shame to let all these bullets go to waste. You're never too old to ask your ancestors for help. <laughs> okay. That's the other one Matthew Mercer did, and it, it, it sounds a lot like one of our favorite characters in, in, in uh, Critical Role uh, uh, Second Campaign. I will guide your spirit through this journey. Okay. The owls are not what they see. You can't bear not to bring me along. Veteran of the Solar Wars, reporting for duty. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. Smorlock? Is that a s'more warlock, really? Alright, what do we got, guys? We got... Oh, okay, All keep, the health keep potions Magnor. I can drink, you say. Um, who else should we get? We're gonna... I've Let's go ahead and put her and, her and this guy away. So we got two other. Who are we going with? We need a cleric. Don't we need a cleric? A, tree, a healer? But I'm not a dirty wood elf. Or do we want the, the enchantress? I've better. But not shopkeeper. many. Shopkeeper. What shopkeeper? Looks like you gotta be good. Need a little pris- This is my- Choose me. Even over clock. The Q bombs to a halt. What is this? A uh, pick? I'm bound. I'll follow if the cause is. A party, you say? A stone standing in a. Lazy le. Where's the druid at? Don't stand in my. Hey, you thawed me. Oh, I hope you're not going anywhere too Talking hot. Talking about the shaman? Oh, the druid. I'm the most natural Person? selection. Transform support, magical earth. Regret is worse than failure. I'm made of 100% recycled materials. Oh, my reference to Critical Role. Oh, it's um, Pumat Soul is the name of the is the name of the character. Pumat Soul is this. This guy. is a high stake. Nope, that's not it. Where is he? Grease tab. It's that's the uh, the shaman. Unless you are a lead sled dog, the view is the same. Sounds like Pumat Soul. Kind of, but you know, I'm sure Matt would say no. Um, it's control summon and support, but I don't know. We definitely need a cleric, I think. I make the gloom less gloomy. Let's go with the cleric. We'll go with the cleric. The darkness and then will we'll go not rise. The druid. Why not? Oh, you want? Wait, you want to? You want to do the? You want to do? You're never too old to ask your ancestors for help. Yeah, Laura, you agree with me, right? You watch Critical Role. Um. All right. So. I prefer the company. We'll do the ah! druid. We'll do the druid, the fighter, and the cleric. That's kind Home of a magic to teaser. Be wild. That'll work. Um. Oh, is that all I can do? Can I? I can only do the wizard tower right now. All right, floor one. We'll do the wizard's tower then. That's fine. All right, so chill, normal, hard, normal. 
All right. The Wizard's Tower. A perpetual storm rages in a ring around the Wizard's Tower. You're uncertain if it's a curse or a deterrent for unwanted guests. The solitary spire just out from the forest and plunges into the clouds above. You're unable to guess its height. It looks like a newly constructed ancient building, if that makes sense. At the foot of the tower, you find that the rain has not touched the stone. An arc of otherworldly light bleeds through the space between the clouds and the rock. The front door is strange, strangely small and unassuming, built as an afterthought. The, will, or, the wood is incredibly solid, knocking hardly makes any it makes a sound. Knocking hardly makes a sound. Then a flash of lightning glints on a brass button in the stone. You. Well, hello, come in. Are you the wizard? Absolutely not. I'm merely the DRM. DRM. Dungeon Resources Manager, and I handle the tutorials as you already know. I see. So shouldn't you be out administering more tutorials? I'm like the tutorial Santa Claus. I can simultaneously teach a tut uh, tutor ch chamber or classroom. Uh, waste of time here with you. Speaking of which, why are you here? All right, I received this letter. You, you got an invitation? I see. The wizard must be desperate. Um. Why is he desperate? Desperate for what? Well, you've seen the state of the re of reality you've created for yourself. He's desperate to. Now, let's just say he's very bored. So if you could do me a favor, please go entertain him to death. Now, it's my distinguished duty to welcome you to the Wizard's Tower. Let's place you. A, 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 this place will put your creativity and determination to test. Yada 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 yada. Now it's time to dip a toe in the dungeon. You'll find the surface is pleasantly warm. But its depths will cook those little piggies. As the portcullis on the right, uh, far side of the foyer rumbles open, the, far, the fire springs to life and the torches ahead. It looks almost cheery. First we fight, then we feast. All right. Well, can I get in this chest? Oh no. Can we search these boxes? Like, is there stuff in the boxes? Uh -uh. No, I didn't want you to do that. Hey, get over here. Get over here. What are you doing? There is coins. You can. You do get coins. All right, hang on. Click on the thing. There we go. There's a couple coins. So there is treasure in here. Okay. Um. All right. Well, there's a freaking guillotine. A guillotine. Um. All right. What do I think that there's something in this Iron Maiden here? There's two Iron Maidens here. Let's go. Let's go over here. Oh, I just put that out. Oh. We're in a torture chamber right now. All right, here's an encounter. A mimic! Oh, screw that mimic. <laughs> Your first real fight, how exciting! Please don't lose. It'll reflect poorly on my tutorial performance. Right. Hey, while you're here, how come I could only choose three characters? I liked a couple of slots to make for, uh, your first party choice easier. I'll consider it. <laughs> Normally you can launch a, a party of one to five characters, but in the dungeon will scale up to compensate. But between you and me, I think three is a perfect party size. I don't. Good to know. 
All right. So I don't know what Urson can do. Towel. What? Moonstrike. What? Trust the axe. All right. Well, you know what? It's three. Hey ho! And chop. Eh, this beats ruin. There he goes. That was easy. Ooh, got TNT barrels. What? And we're gonna end the turn here. Who needs saving? Uh, you know what? Nobody does. Uh, Urson mode. What's blessed bulwark? Absorb 178 uh, for two turns. Actually, we're. Oh, can I only put it on him? You know what? That's fine. We'll cast it on him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Not to pop. There we go. So he's going to have a little bit of a, a buffer. And she's got three more. Um, I guess I'll have to move her around this way. No, we can leave her here. He's in the way. We'll just leave her here. The mimic. We can mimic. I'm in touch with my roots. All right, so we've got a bear form. Transform to elite plus 29% 29 druidic uh, bear one for one turn. We've got a, a hive form. Oh, is it okay, so he's a, he, this guy's a shapeshifter. Uh, get two uses on that one. Overgrowth, which is... Uh, oh, I'm going to give it to Magnor. Yeah, we'll do that. Time to branch out. Lend, the forest. Lend me your extra power. power, extra defense. That's all I can do for right now. That's cool. That works. Tatum poles. Channing Tatum poles. Here comes the maelstrom. All right. I think Magnor's gonna take uh, take these guys out, man. Oh, I got a double. Go. Oh, it's more fun when they run. Shoot him. Oh yeah, he's done. Done! And, you know what, we're gonna taunt it. Taunt it! Save your ears! Alright, that's it. That's all we can do. I'm not used to all this darkness. Whatever, Claire. Put you up here. I go where I am needed. And let's go ahead and go with smite. Oh, I can't, wh why am I smiting that? I don't want to smite that. We're gonna give, uh, yeah. Let Magnum the light be your soul. armor. Nice. That works. I'm not that old for a tree. I'm not that old for a tree. Um, we'll go bear form. Why not? Actually, you know what? Yeah, we'll go. Um, actually, let's go overgrowth again. Can I do that? Can I double up on this? No, we'll go bear form. I know the path well. Oh, my tummy is growling. Oh, dude. He's got seven more points. Get him. Bear hug. 190 uh, points over one turn, and he stuns for 1.2 turns. And, or maul for, you know what? Let's do a bear hug. Yeah. Oh, you hear that crack? He's done. Oh, wait, or is he not? Maul. There we go. Bye bye. Drake Pebble, huh? I'm in touch Couldn't with my roots. Easier. All right. Well, you know what? That druid isn't half bad, man. He got this wild shape. That's pretty cool. That it's just a chest, not a mimic. Don't be silly. <laughs> The Necromancer heals too. Yeah, I thought about the Necromancer pretty heavy. Um, you wouldn't use him again? Ah, oh, no, I like him. I love Druid. I always have. You make me so proud. I keep it up or else. Could you clean this off for me, please? So this is uh, extra 315 health. You really th they and the game is suggesting I give it to her. To Drake Pebble. Uh, elemental power. 
Nobody needs that Drake Pebble. TNT Barrel. 16 power, negative 54 fire defense. Um, it's an exception, but it... Gift Shop Tornado. What's a Gift Shop Tornado? Supporting... Um, I think I'm going to sell these. We'll give her the Indulge. bad habit. Ugh. Could you clean this off for me, please? Well, she had one. Oh, it was a level, a level two, though. Yeah, sell that, dude. We'll sell these for right now. All right. The heck? Where'd you go? I'll just get some out of your way until the next encounter, I see. That makes sense. Um. Well, I guess I need to uh, search on some. That's good. Can I just run? Oh, some coins. Is it though? What's this battle half? What is this? All right. So today it's going outside. I'm not sure I want to go outside just yet. Let's go in here. All right, here we go. Oh, we're going. Manticore? Are you kidding me? A chimera? What the heck are you doing with a man? Uh, the book cook. What's a book cook? What's this? Okay. Wonderful words of the wizard. Um, You know, I'm not sure I like this manticore. Right click on him. He's got only has 137 health though. It's a baby manacore. Okay, that's not too bad. The chimera. People get these two confused all the time. Um bad against body, deficient against physical, deficient if defense, deficient cover, deficient against mundane. So I should probably put Magnar against him. But I think he probably should have. If that snake hits you, he should poison you, right? Life siphon, that's what that is. Converts the percentage of damage you deal into healing for yourself. This thing could be a problem. Um, okay. And it's got Spitfire. The mana core, hang on. Yeah, the manacore is just a, a, a. I mean, he should have some tail spikes that he shoots, but I don't see them. Okay. Now, the animals are a little bit different than they are in D&D. But that's cool. Um, Alright, so if I go in. We've got Claire first, then Magnar, then two of them, and then my Druid, and then last of them, but not least, the Chimera goes last. So. All right, let's start the battle. These elven eyes have seen much suffering. Well, you know what I didn't do? Hang on. The book cook, novice of hot-headed fury. He's got decent health. He's abysmal against taunt, so we're going to use the... Or we're going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to have, have him taunt, get taunted. Speed, focus, elementals, good power, decent mobility. You've got this de deficient aim. Is he a, a... What is he, a fire method? Is that what he is? I don't know what he is. So we're gonna go her first. Let's see. Blessed bulwark. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, just do it. Bark of the white tree, protect thee. Oh shoot, that rhymed. All right. Did you just say oh shit that? Trust the axe. All right. We're gonna go chop. Pin up go your get pigs. Him. Here I come. Fish. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was quick. I've got one left. Can't do anything. We're going over here. Hey ho! Alright. And we're done. Look, Cook, take it, bring it on, bring it on. I'm doing push-ups right now. Chaos storm. Oh, shoot. I'm not that old. What a tree. You missed my druid, sucker. Um
Let's do the uh, the bear form first. Again. I have your picnic baskets. Like my bear form. Let's go ahead and bear hug it. He's stunned, and that's all I can do right there. All right, we're done. I should have mauled him. Oh, I can bear... Hibernate. Oh, uh, you... You need... Uh, use two AP on abilities. Uh, plus 1.64 on transform ability, and you get a plus 292 over two turns. Okay, we'll do that. We'll hibernate. Charging a hibernate. Oh, okay. It might just take him out of the out of the out of the battle. Good fire. It's a good thing I had that 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 shield on me. I'm not used to all this darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Smite that book cook, dude. Oh, the white tree. Do it. Yeah, get rid of him. This chimera is gonna be a pain in my butt. Uh, blessed bulwark. Yeah, we'll do that. It's fine. Take some risks. And we'll go there. It's Don't fine. go too far. Are you able to choose a target? I think it, uh, you choose whichever one's closest to you. All right. So Mag Magnar's next. I love to raid. Chop. If I can catch you. <laughs> oh, never mind. Right, because I had the extra the power. Let's pray things go easier from now on. Nice, 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 nice. Cherubic get up, huh? Plus 41 um, support, negative 18 mundane defense. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, it's much better. Oh, except. Oh, wait. You got negative 108 fire defense because he's like a tree. But if I switch this out, he's just going to have negative 18 mundane defense. That's fine. I'm getting rid of a freaking uh, ma ma major uh, deficit here. Yeah, get rid of that. You're going to topple this tower in no time. Hey, Hugh, what's up? All right, we're good. We're good. When's the feast? <laughs> Booty bite. This is a good haul. Siphon 104. To siphon, huh? Is this ability? It's a ranged ability, and they want me to give it to uh, to to Magnar. Okay. Sure. Why not? All right. An impasse. You defeated every enemy and. Even earned a little praise from the illustrious Dingbat, but there seems to be nowhere to go. The portcullis through which you entered is gone, replaced by an aging stone wall. We either seek the bat's help, or we can search for another way. We're gonna search for another way. Cause I'm stubborn. Uh, affinity physical mag Magnar plus eight expert roll three or higher. Oh, okay. Magnar's got uh, plus eight on my physical. Generally, this is too early in the game for a soft lock. You begin to look forward to another way forward. All right, good. I'll be honest, yeah, I'm a wee better. bit lost. Roll that dice. <laughs> 15. Golden will be pleased. All right. Uh, knocking around for a passage, you come across a wall that sounds different from the rest. Paper beach rock. Like a gentleman a duelist, you pace out ten steps from the wall... Do a sudden about face and charge it at full speed ahead. First we fight, then we feast. Sixteen. On to the next fight. All right, demolition man. Boom! I went right through it. You've yet to meet a stone that your head can't crack. Boistered by your success with the wall, you feel like you can bust through anything. All right. 
Dungeon Legend, uh, okay, encounters to you. All right. Once the rubble settles, you realize you've stumbled into a chamber of cleanly cut stone. Yeah, I had good rolls. That was, that was some good rolls. Trust. All right. Good luck in the hidden temple. I think you'll find it legendary in more ways than one. Oh. I had some treasure chests in here for you since I forgot to build the door to this place and all. Yikes. Yikes. Well. Let me do this one. I guess I'm... Did I not get this chest? There it is. What's in it? I don't have a robe. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, what? what? Soaring spear. 50, uh, 79 physical power. Negative 162 air defense. But you do a spear jump. 139 to 258. What's my dull axe doing right now? Um. Oh wait, what's this? I have a health potion. Really? Um. Do I want to get him? Uh. Oh, bless my beard. Yeah, it doubles my physical power. Lowers my aim. Oh no, it gives me. Well, wait. Okay, so it, it increases my aim. But I've got some air defense problems here. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll switch to a spear. Why not? I don't know, we'll sell the axe. It's only a one versus a nine. It's really good. Clear all this real quick. Ah. I don't have to destroy all this stuff. But Alright, so, which way do we go? The small door? Go through the small door. Ah, another, okay. Is this just a treasure room? Is that all this is? Oh, what's this? Ah, the fruits of our labors. Disabled while wielding two-hander on the snow globe. Plus 16 elemental power. Nature's cool uh, beans. Trap tornado. Oh, it's going to help him a little bit. Oh, I okay. So it's a better, a better tornado than what I had. Mage vestments. Saying sell that, so we'll get rid of that. We'll sell this guy. I guess we'll Sweet sell a snow globe nectar. too, because I can't use it. All right. Let's get him out of my way. Except I really wish it was a little bit easier to click on what these guys I want to click on. Come on. Okay. Hmm. Is there a sweet spot? There's got to be a sweet spot, right? There it is. I'm having a hard time. That's fine. We'll go through here. Got a little coinage right there. I can get it. Um, we'll go back through here. I didn't go through here yet. Ooh, cat knights everywhere. And a chimera. Wait, we got two cat knights and a chimera? Do I have to? I really don't want to. I don't have to. I guess I can go the other way. We haven't gone through the room yet. That's fine. We'll do it. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, we're gonna go with Overgrowth for uh, Magnar. Magnar's last. Yeah, we need. We're gonna give Magnar that. Stay green. Stay green, boy. Well, he might. He don't think he can get to us. He can't get to us. Yet. Chimera can't get to us either. Oh, what the heck is he doing? This one can, I think. No. What? Darkness will not rise. Oh, okay. He attacked something. He attacked something in the room. All right. So, blessed bulwark. Let's go ahead and I don't want Magnor. No, we want to. Hang on. Hmm. I want her to give it to Urson, but I don't think we can. We can only give it to Magnor. Fine. Let's Magnor's coming up next anyway, evil. so he's... It's a, that's... He's got a decent a decent tank in now, so I think we're good. Um, that's it, we're done. First we fight, then okay. we feast! He's got overgrowth power, he's got defense, and absorb right now. Let's go with, what's his booty bite? Siphon 233. I don't know that I can. It's only one. I don't know if I'm gonna, it's gonna buff me or if it, I've already, I'm already at full health. So let's go ahead and Siphon 233 and see what that does. If I can catch you, you're mine. <laughs> I'm not just damaging. Didn't you jack squat, dude. Fine. I'll jump back one. Oh, it's more fun when they run. Keep that flame away from me. Let's go the hive form. I haven't done the hive form yet. Let's do that. I've still got some spin. I'll just be myself. What? Okay, so a bee swarm over two turns, and let's see, honey, do you. Use three AP on abilities. You can do seventy percent to plus one form duration and one forty-eight damage. And the summon B, quick summon. Uh, all right, we'll do this then. Maybe we'll do B swarm. <laughs> And this invasion thing is And summon B. Oh, it's an extra person. Oh, that's totally good. That's great. It's a bee's turn. Oh, man. So this, these guys are going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, the bee attacks again? Got him. Yeah, took out the cat. I like that bee. I like this bee, uh, this, uh, this bee forms, I mean, this uh, hive form is good. I don't know how many of those uh, snake venom. Yeah, that's a chimera thing I was worried about, dude. Bee cut. Oh, person. I hate to sound like a tutorial, but... Yeah, hey, Claire, hey, nice. Saving. She automatically healed him. That was so good. All right, let's, can we smite that, that cat knight? You can't, you can't smite that cat knight, can you? But you can, I need a blessed bulwark, the, uh, I guess we'll, i do it for I the Magnar I like to then. keep my yeah. friends close. Try not to pop. Nope, that's it. I'm not gonna have her smite anybody, so. She wants it to smite this, I don't, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna end this I love to raid. All right, Magnor, come on, buddy. If we go spear jump, should be able to take out that cat, I think. Looks like I can taunt it. No, we'll, we'll, we'll spear jump. Pin up your pigs! Hit up! <laughs> yeah! Nice! Got some mail there. Let's go ahead and siphon off of this chimera if I can. <laughs> what was that? No, I saved enough of Urson? 
Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh, friendly fire. Summon B. Pray this is enough. All right, and then uh, B swarm. Oh no! All right, well that was not that was a mistake. Get him! Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That B is OP. It's an OP B. Bottle bad breath. The little critters of the forest are safe for now. Okay, so we got some they things harbored in the future. <laughs> Fancy that. 248 health, 99 resistance, negative 24% aim, but I have some extra aim because of that spear. And, oh yeah, dude, totally harbinger's mail. Over the moldering turret. It's a 12 over a 1? What? Get rid of that tunic. Stinky tunic. Get out of it. Bobby I will bad sanctify breath. it with my touch. Plus one, one point one speed, negative eight aim, versus use soap. You got more resistance with this though, nah, 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 nah. nah. We're gonna sell that. Ugh. Obsidian Could you shard. clean this off for me, please? What is this? Sixty back power, forty-five armor penetration, versus her holy mace. Um. So she's got a mace. She's got a melee weapon. Mm, I don't know, guys. Should we? See, they're the same negative focus. So, actually... Yeah, it's a better weapon, I think. Let's switch it. Get rid of her holy weapon. <laughs> oh my god. It's not, it's not something you normally do with the cleric, man. What is this? What is this? It won't let me uh, do anything with this. Oh, there it is. Whoa! What'd it do? There! It's mine! I licked it! I licked it! Decreases the effectiveness of a hostile area of effect abilities used against you. Um, so reflexes plus 40% or defense ah, plus 13. Loot. What do we think? It's all hostile actions taken against this you. This is a good This is against all. area of effect abilities used against you. Values greater than 100% have no effect. However, they can help overcoming the focus of enemies. What do you guys think? That's an AOE 40% reflex. Ah, or a 13 loot. A 13 defense for everything. I think we're going to go with the everything. But who should we give it to? Oh, bless my beard. This is a good hole. You know what? Oh, bless I'll my have to give it to him. Loot. Oh, bless my beard. Oh, what's this? This is a good hole. 40% cover okay, decreases the effectiveness of, a, of hostile ranged abilities used against you. Or damage reflect. There, it's mine. I licked it. Prefer, percentage of damage uh, you take is also used uh, taken by the dealer. Oh, dude. Damage reflect. Yeah. Totally. I will sanctify it with my touch. And then. Cool beans. Increases your uh, your effectiveness of ne uh, nearly all non-damaging actions you take. Indulge me. Or critical chance uh, in in chance to increase the power fifty by fifty percent after defense has been subtracted of nearly all actions you take. By using um, let's increase Nature's your support. Bounty. We'll do support. 
I know Let's honor chance, the though. dead by putting their she gear to use. Critical use. Chance, though, ah, support. the fruits of our labors. That's cool. Are we good? Cool beans. Cool beans, man. All right, give that to him. You tell me paper is worth a lot in the future. <laughs> if ah, loot. Wait. There, it's mine. Here. I licked it. That's cool, man. <laughs> Druid said cool beans, yeah. All right, so I guess the, I think the only ones that give us any money are the ones that have coins on top. So, see you later, Vicky. Can this be played co-op local? Yeah, I think so, actually. Pretty sure. All right, let's go out this door. See what's out here. Uh oh. What is it? What is it? Boomer rat. Boomer rats and a unicorn. Oh, a unicorn wants to kill me. It's so cute. Look at the cutie unicorn. The boomer rat. Is this really a rat with a giant boomerang on his in his hands? What the frick is that, dude? That means he's gonna be able to hit me from a, uh, from a distance. Oh no, he may as well be an archer. Hmm. All right, well we know what we're gonna do. Let's see, oh, the unicorn goes first, then the three of us, then the two boomer rats at the end. What does the boomer? What does the unicorn do? Do, do we get like a unicorn poop ice cream? Um. Only has 160 health. Four against energy, dark, and mundane. Okay. Rainbow injection. <laughs> okay. And she's the last. If you move a six distance, you revive ally up to 70% health. She's got to die first. We have to kill the unicorn first. She can revive her other allies. So it's a good thing she goes first to get close to us. And what about the boomer rats? Let me see what the boomer rat looks like real quick. Good evasion, good cover. Exceptional with blunt. Uh, good aim, good armor penetration, good focus. They, uh, they don't have a lot of health. They only have 59 health. One hit, they should be dead. If we can hit them, because they, they have 32% evasion. So that's going to be an issue. But okay. Okay, that's cool. Unicorns are all jerks. <laughs> you know how many comments I'm going to get in the comment section? You killed a unicorn. Just once this thing goes live on my channel, I get enough problems with people when I when I kill wolves. Okay? In games. Unicorns? Oh my god. And it's a pink, it has pink hair. And a pink tail. Adept face support character. It's it, it's an evil, it wears a it wears a pretty skin. It's evil and, and rotten to the on the inside. Let's just go. Start the battle. Round one. Fight! I'm not that old. Is he running away? A tree. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. Um. All right, real quick. Since they're far away, let's go ahead and give overgrowth to uh, Magnor. It seemed to work really well. And then we'll take a, a hive form. Let's all the buzz about. Do I like it? Summon a bee. And uh, the bee swarm. I don't know. I don't think that's I don't destroy the, the obstacle, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's good. That's the end of the turn. The bee's turn. These right. elven eyes have seen much suffering. Uh, bless bulwark to Magnor. Let the light be your armor. Tank that boy up, man. That's it. We're done. I'll be on this time a wee bit lost. Okay, I can't really do very much, so I think we're probably... I'm going to try to get as close as I can. That's all I can do. What's inevitable? Absorb 256 for two turns. This will put some air on your nose. It's going to be a fourth buff. 
Holy mackerel, guys. <laughs> I've got three more move. Uh, we'll go... We'll go right there. Oh, it's more fun when they run. <laughs> oh, god dang it, man. Magnor is, like, super tanky. Uh, that's it. What we can do? Boomer rat. Boomer rat! Unicorn gonna run away? Dude. You know what? Summon another bee. Oh, the bee only holds out for one turn? Uh, I thought he stuck around. That's not good. Um. He attacked his own bee. I don't like that. Okay. It's fine. I'm not used to all this darkness. I gotta get these guys closer. Um, let's go ahead and get her back behind Magnor. Tread lightly. And can she smite? She can't smite. But we'll bless Bulwark again. Light, keep you from evil. All right, that's good. Trust the axe. Magnor, you gotta take out that unicorn, buddy. Um, we're gonna siphon. We're gonna do booty bite and siphon that. Pin up your pigs! Here I come! Ha! Boom! Bye. And I've got one more. I can't do anything. That's all I can do. That's cool. We took out one of the rats. That's great. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Unicorn gonna attack me? Yes. Oh, there goes your toes! Ooh! Yeah, we took out the unicorn! That was his hamstring oh, ability. To be wild. Yeah, you know what, or Orson, you know what? No, I don't want to end his, oh, he's out of. Who needs saving? He's out of AP. All right, let's go. This is what, three? Four. I could still smite that boomerang, I think. Come with me if you want to live. I can't. Oh yeah, I can. By the light of the internet. Nice. We've got a splinter ah, shield. Though. Come on! One more round! <laughs> I will sanctify it with my touch. Off brand perfume, nine support and uh negative eight life siphon. You still using soap? What? Mm. That actually looks like it's a, a lot better. Yeah, we do that. that hey, tell me, paper away. is worth a lot in the future. Oh, bless my beard. Oh, I've got I've got a splintering shield that's only a one. Oh, I'm using a two-hander though. Hang on. It's disabled. Okay, we're gonna switch it. We'll sell Nature's that. Bounty. Because I'm using a spear with a two-handed weapon. It, if it, if the end level tab is glowing red, it means there's still an interactable prop to find. Just not to miss them. Okay. There we go. All right. I guess we're done with the level. Another village, another pillage. Light power, what's this? Please indulge me. Increases the effectiveness of all nearby light actions you take. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Do it. All right. Choice. Upon completing the temple, the dingbat appears for you once more. At this point, I'm contractually obligated to present you with a choice. Choose the form of your destroyer. And by destroyer, I mean the boss you must face. Which honestly, at this difficulty level, is like more like a glorified doorstop. So choose the form of your doorstop. How do I choose? Merely think of its form, and I will manifest it. Uh, stay puff, marshmallow man. Think of Jello. 
No, I'm not going to think of Jello. You know why? Because I'm not going to fight a gelatinous cube. Kiss my ass, bat. Uh, we'll go ogre. I want to see about an ogre. We'll fight an ogre. Unless you guys want potato. Guys, one for ogre, two for potato. One for ogre, two for potato. I missed a room? Yeah, maybe. There is no marshmallow. I didn't give me a choice for marshmallow. Not jello, though. We're not going to do jello. I'm not dumb. One for ogre, two for potato. <laughs> Probably a golem? A potato golem? Okay, all right, all right, all right. So it was one. It's overwhelmingly potato golem. Think of potato. Oh, is it really a grouch potato? An undead potato? Are you serious? Is this a, a potato ghoul? Big punish. Adept hater tot opposes for one bit. It's a hater tot. Oh my god. Okay, Kevin Smith. That's a Kevin Smith reference right there, man. The farm has been chosen. <laughs> Here we go. Location dungeon holes, difficulty bronze, counters one standard, onwards, the boss lies ahead. Hater tot. Drinking hater aid. Hope you understand I had no choice but to pit this boss against you. But I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a little extra ump at the start of every round. Action points. Oh cool. Why are you helping me? The little fish gets thrown back. I want to put you on the table. It's a raid. So I have more action points now. That's great. A hater tot. A bully. An imp. You told me one boss, dude. What the freak? So the bully is an adept, uh, adept hot-headed fighter. Good health. Terrible against taunt. We're going to taunt him, I think. His bad aim. Okay. He has charge. 81% uh, mobility for one turn and plus 39 power for one turn and just the tip. <laughs> just the tip. Uh, launch five. Uh, launch. Oh, he hits you. He can. He can use his horns to launch you five uh, squares away from you. All right. That's interesting. And let's see. What about the. Uh, the imp. He's a caster. Okay, so he, okay. Terrible against water, a light, spirit, and defense. But he's going to throw fireballs at me. Firebolts. And that's a DOT. Damage over time. He's going to catch us on fire. And he's got fireball. It takes five AP to do, though. And the hater tot. How much health does he have? 322? Okay. He's bad against fire, slashing, cover, and damage reflect. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. And of course we have a mimic. Mimics are terrible against fire, magical, and reflexes. He, his initiative sucks, which is why he's going almost, wait, he's going almost last, almost last, yeah. Terrible aim, uh, terrible d uh, mobility and terrible aim. All right, all right, that's cool. So, start it up. Bully goes first. Hopefully, he'll get right in the mix with this. Charge. Nice. Ooh. Okay, here he comes. On to be wild. Urson. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, oh, you know, what? let's do that. Ooh, I don't have to go anywhere. So we're gonna give overgrowth. There's some power greens. And then we'll do the 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 high I'll I'll let that be myself. I'll let that be. Summon that be. OPB, baby. 
OPB, baby. And bee swarm is going to there. No, what's honey? Oh, yeah. We give honey to... Does he have two? Plus 70%. Plus uh, 148 more health to the bee. That works. That works I guess. And turn. Bee's turn. Get him! Oh yeah! Hit him twice and kill the bully! Yeah, you tell that bully who's boss. Nice. That was awesome. Booty bite! I'm not used to all this darkness. Give you a booty bite. Alright, blessed bulwark for Orson. Why not? Because we can. Take some risks! All right, and then we're going to leave her be. She's going to just stay right there. She's kind of in Orson's way, but... One First two. we fight, then we feast. Right. Let's go with a booty bite of your own, my friend. Oh, that's going to go against that? I don't want that. No, no, no. Um, can we taunt... To move, I can't get around that. I can't. You know, we have to destroy this thing. I have to. I have to destroy this. I think. So I'm. I'm gonna have to. We're gonna chop that. I guess. Get out of my way. Now, I'm gonna booty bite the mimic. Let's see, how much health does that mimic have? 240? Or should I spear jump him? No. Inevitable. No, we'll, we'll booty bite him. Do it! <laughs> this beat's ruin. <laughs> yeah! Down he goes! Woo! Sandalwood revolver? We have firearms in the game? Oh, the imp, he's gonna throw it. He's gonna throw a bomb on me Oh, at the B. That's great. The speed of light. Guardian spirit. Nice. Here comes the hater tot. Tater's gonna ha gonna take. Taunted Re Magnor. Really? Really? Why did the bee run away? Person. Summon another bee. And use honey to hold it, or to, to hold it firm. That's what I needed. That's what I'm looking for is his multiples. Yeah, Urson's worth it. For sure, for sure. The darkness will not rise. All right, Claire. Smite that imp right Don't now. Don't go too far. Let me show you how to do the real damage. Yeah. Now all we got is a the hater tot. That's it. All right, let's go with uh, Blessed Bulwark on who? Who's this going to be on? Hang on. On Magnor? Yeah, do it. Let the light be your armor. All right, Hater Tot. Here comes the Maelstrom. If I hit you. Let's go. Let's suck up some... Uh, I might be able to kill him in this one hit. I don't know. We'll see. Spear jump. Hey ho! What the hell? Oh. Almost. Do a booty bite. Finish him off with a booty bite. Booty bite. That's right. Tater's gonna take. Nice. The calm. Natural the selection. That works. Cool, man. I knew you would. Now dust yourself off and make it look uh, make it look like it was an easy before the wizard gets here. So the moldering tunic is garbage. You can throw that away. Let's honor the dead by Sandalwood putting their revolver. gear to use. Which is thurible. 
I, I guess we'll do that. And the Could questing cost is 135 health. And pl plus 20 for or, uh, support. So I'm actually going to be losing health. It says it's good, but... Hmm... See you later, gaming. So it's not as much health. I don't think I... It gives plus 20 per so, uh, support. Um, yeah, I, we're going to do it just because... Just because she doesn't get a lot of damage done to her and she can heal. So I think we're going to be okay. Is that a Dark Tower reference? Is that what it was? All right, let's see if there's anything else in here. I don't think there's anything else in here, but we'll give it a shot. Is that it? All right, I guess we're done. Alden will be pleased. Ooh, power. Let's honor the dead by putting their it gear to use. Increases effectiveness of nearly all actions you take. And they're saying to give it to her, so okay. Wait. Indulge me. Alright, I guess I will. All right, so here. The mask behind the curtain, here we go. The red curtain squeakily lowers before you. Ow, looks like you've caught the wizard's eye. Hopefully he wasn't watching us too closely. I think I was supposed to give the boss an aura or something. I have always been watching. Like a first commenter, a super fan, an early backer, I have witnessed your every success and failure since first you began the game. Well, I think I'm going to make myself scarce now. Not so fast, you bumbling bat. I will have words with you after I've exposed myself to the player. Wow, I really got to get out Prepare of here. Prepare yourself, player, for the shock of my form. I'm ready as I'll ever be. Behold! What? Is that a placeholder? Oh, oh. Is that a placeholder image? What? Oh, is this better? It's sideways. Hmm. How about this? <laughs> oh, I see it. I chose this form because I know the denizens of your world are big fans of emojis. I suppose I accept that charge. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. You've shown adequate perseverance in coming this far. You may find me antagonistic from time to time, but I'll never hold failure against you. After all, this is rogue light. So whatever kills you makes you stronger. And I look forward to making you very strong. Now, if you'll excuse me, <laughs> I must have a chat with a bat. Oh. Story driven campaigns. You've unlocked a new game. All right. Forge a path through long form fantasy and sci fi adventures. Your journey begins at the cursed town of Sweetwater. Each, flower, uh, each floor of the tower is harder than the last. You may want to take a detour and work up your charms. Okay, guys. We unlocked the campaign for Sweetwater. That's cool. And I think that's where we're going to end it today. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and I'm going to save it. I think this is a good place to stop. Um, and now that I've unlocked it, I think we are going to do a story in the future. Guys, give me a thumbs up. 
and let me know in the comment section um, what you think about this game. Uh, I'm really enjoying myself a lot, um, and I'm excited to see what different combinations are that we can do. Uh, so if you if you if you like different combinations, tell me what they are and why in the comment section, so I kind of know what to think of. I'm gonna mess around with it probably off camera a little bit, but not too awful much. But thank you very much for coming in, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope you all did enjoy the three streams today. And if this is the first thing you've seen today, I have two other games that I played earlier in the in the day. So go back and check them out if you want to. Thank you very much for coming in. I hope you all enjoyed it. Like I said. As I always say, I am my usual me. You be your usual you, and we'll see you in the next thing that I do, uh, which we'll probably have a stream later on tomorrow afternoon after I get back. I have to go to the, I have to go to the doctor, and um, nothing major, don't worry. Um, and, but when I get back, I think we might play this again. So um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna come hang out. Maybe we'll play some campaign. Um, I, I really like this, and I've been I've been waiting for a Dungeons and Dragons game that I can play for months i think y'all know what i'm talking about but yeah so um but this is this is a, a wonderful wonderful like deep toe dip into into like that world so i'm loving it so yeah guys all right thank you very much we will see you later thanks for stopping by bye bye